Ratcheting up his already incendiary rhetoric, former President Donald Trump in a 1 a.m. social media post on Friday warned of potential death and destruction if he were to face criminal charges in a New York City investigation. The post on Trump's Truth social media site was the latest in a string of verbal attacks against Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg since last Saturday, when Trump wrongly predicted he would be arrested three days later. Bragg's office, which is probing hush money payments by Trump's former attorney to adult film star Stormy Daniels made in the midst of the 2016 election, said they would not be intimidated. Trump's vague but violent threat for some recalled his language ahead of the Capitol riot on January 6, 2021, when Trump's supporters, inspired by his false claims of voter fraud, launched an attack in a failed bid to stop Congress from certifying President Joe Biden's victory. Meanwhile, ABC News reported on Friday citing sources that a judge rejected Trump's bid to prevent former aides, including his ex-chief of staff Mark Meadows, from testifying before a grand jury probing the January 6th attack. The federal grand jury is investigating failed efforts by Trump and his allies to overturn the results of the 2020 election, one of two criminal investigations into the former president being handled by special counsel Jack Smith. On Saturday, Trump will hold a campaign rally in Waco, Texas, 30 years after a raid on the Branch Davidians religious sect by federal agents resulted in 86 deaths, including four law enforcement officers. Waco has become a symbol of government overreach for some right-wing extremist groups. In an email, a Trump campaign spokesperson said Waco was chosen because it is situated between several major population centers and has the infrastructure needed to host a large event. Month three of the extreme MAGA Republican majority in the House of Representatives. The former president said there would be a potential for, quote, death and destruction should Alvin Bragg choose to charge him in his investigation. What's your response to that? Well, the twice impeached former president's rhetoric uh, is reckless, reprehensible, and irresponsible. It's dangerous, and if he keeps it up, he's going to get someone killed. We've already seen the consequences of incitement from the former president. He is principally responsible for inciting the violent insurrection that happened on January 6. But clearly he has not learned his lesson. It's also very unfortunate that the extreme MAGA Republicans in the House of Representatives continue to back President Trump and his reckless and his violent, and his hateful, and his disgusting rhetoric. Yeah.